Okay guys, I'm going to show you how to do the setup for the sticky tape lab. I have my materials, I have my tape, I've got my marker, I've already taped a piece of foil and paper to my counter, and I have an extra piece of foil and paper that I'll be using later in the lab. So first, you're going to take a piece of tape that's your base tape. This is the one that's going to remain stuck to the counter, and it's helpful to fold over a piece of the end that will make it easier to get off the counter later on. So stick that to your counter. We don't label that tape. Then you're going to take a separate piece of tape and again fold over the end and stick that on top of your base tape. Now this is our bottom tape, so we're going to label it with a B for bottom. And then we will take a third piece of tape and fold over the end and stick that on top of our stack here. And this is the top tape, so we will label it with a T for top. Okay, so we're going to slowly take the top and the bottom tape, not the base tape, off of our stack. Now we don't want them to be charged yet, so you'll see how it kind of is attracted to my finger. You run your finger down it a couple times till it doesn't seem to be attracted anymore. And then grab each side, the top and the bottom, and rip it apart. See how now it's attacking my fingers? That means it's charged, and that's good. So we want to hook this on the countertop as carefully as possible so that it's hanging down. Oops, that's not the sticky side. There we go. And can move freely so that you're going to repeat that whole thing a second time, make a second top and bottom tape so that you can see if they are attracted to each other or not. So take two more pieces of tape, make one more top and bottom, and then you're going to see the interactions between the top and bottom tapes and the foil and the aluminum foil and each other. All right, have fun.